This is a brand new Fiat Tipo. Fiat want you to fall in love with it. It's a five door hatchback. They want you to have more space, more practicality, more equipment. But will we amore it? Well, let's find out. So the Tipo is available with a choice of six engines, three petrol and three diesel. Uh, there's two 1.4 litre petrols with 94 brake horsepower and 118 brake horsepower. Both come with a six speed manual gearbox, while a 1.6 litre with 108 brake horsepower comes with a six speed automatic. The three diesels are made up of a 1.3 94 brake horsepower with a 5 speed manual gearbox this time, a 1.6 litre 118 brake horsepower available with a 6 speed manual or a 6 speed automatic. Fit have also made it very easy on the trim level, there's just three to choose from Easy, Easy Plus, and Lounge. Although there's a sneaky fourth option which is for business users and is called the Elite. The Tipo range starts from £12,995. You get the 1.4 petrol manual in easy spec. If you want to go to Easy Plus it's an extra £1,000. If you want to then go on to Lounge Edition it's another £1,000. If you want to up your engine it's another £1,000. But you don't have to do all at the same time. Easy Trim comes with aircon, DAB radio, six airbags and split folding rear seats. Easy Plus gets a five inch touchscreen for your infotainment system, a leather steering wheel, 16 inch alloy wheels, cruise control and LED headlamps. And the top of the range lounge edition gives you climate control, rain sensors and automatic lights, satellite navigation, 17 inch alloy wheels and a rear reversing camera. So, what's the new Tipo like to drive? Well, because it's got a soft suspension setup, it's definitely roll as you approach the corner and you can feel that weight shift into another one being pushed wide. You can feel that breaking down brakes aren't too strong. But in reality, I don't think this is where this car's strength is. And I don't think people should be judging it as a sporty car. Fit have made no suggestions that it is a sporty car. They're not saying it's up there with a Seat Leon FR or a Golf GTI. It's not as quick, but it's not as taut. It's not as finely balanced. It's comfortable. I wouldn't say the steering's got the best feedback and it doesn't really communicate what's going on underneath the front wheels but it's pretty accurate and it's it's taking me where I want to go and I'm being pretty rough with it through those tight, tight chicanes back there. Uh, generally then you settle back, it's light, there's no real dead ahead, it's reasonably well weighted, uh, quite light in feel. I'm not having to make consistent and continuous adjustments to keep it in a straight line. So what becomes of the Tipo is you just sit back, relax and let it cruise. And what about the 1.6 litre diesel engine? How does that perform? When you're in fifth or sixth gear it actually settles really nicely into the background. There's very little intrusion into the cabin but the problem is fifth and sixth gear are long geared which is better for economy but it means when you're pulling out of a 30 or 40 mile an hour zone there's very little power then so you'll need to drop it into third gear bury your foot and you start to get a bit of action it's not overly loud but um, it's certainly much more noticeable uh, than when you're in fifth or sixth cruising along you really feel that torque come in around two or three thousand rpm you push back into your seat and the car shoots forward but it quickly runs out of buff and it's not a slow car but it's it's certainly not anything better than swift really 
on the motorway there's quite a lot of wing noise from the wing mirrors there's quite a lot of road noise as well and tire noise which is surprising and a little bit disappointing because it takes the edge off this car being ultra relaxing For me, the best way to look at the Tipo is to consider it not against rivals such as the Ford Focus or the Vauxhall Astra, but to look at brands like Dacia and Skoda. This is a cheap car that's, that's well sized, it's comfortable and it offers you a lot of equipment. It's, it's really entry level into this market. And for anyone after a family size hatchback with five doors, loads of space, a comfortable ride from just £12,995, the Fiat Tipo really does tick a lot of boxes.